Hey guys! So fairly recently, I read a book called Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. You've probably heard of this book, because it's a coming-of-age novel that centres around the fanfiction community, which is obviously a very big thing online. So if you spend a lot of time online like me, you will have heard of this book. Now every time I saw it in a shop, I was like, I need to buy that book, because I would enjoy that. Never got around to buying it. It was on my reading list, but luckily my cousin had it and I borrowed it off her. And I read it, and I did really enjoy it, probably four or five stars, but I have got some issues with it. First of all, I'd like to say that this is a really, really good book. One thing I'd like to point out though is that it's more a coming of age novel than a book about fanfiction, because although the fanfiction community is fairly well represented, I don't think it's specifically about that, it's more about Kath and Ren and their relationships with people and how they develop as they go to college and separate for the first time. Although this book was good at shedding light on the fanfiction community, which isn't necessarily always seen as a positive thing in mainstream media, it did have some other representation issues. The first thing is that it kind of had a sort of meta-gay feel. And by that I mean there was a gay relationship in the book, but that gay relationship was the one that Kath was writing in her fanfiction, and no other mentioned characters were gay. And I kind of feel like Rainbow Rowell tried to do some representation of the LGBT community, but kind of failed a little bit. Like, yes, she's got a gay relationship in there, but even within this work of fiction, that relationship is fictional. Kath even makes a point of saying that in the canon of the books that she's writing fanfiction about, the characters aren't gay, they're just gay in her fanfiction. So it's like the tiniest bit of representation and it's in a fictional context, which kind of suggests that that's the only place for gay relationships. And I know that's probably not what Rainbow Row was intending, but as someone who kind of looks for good representation in books now, I just was slightly irked by it. And the other thing was that the copy of the book that I had had some really cute little character designs in the front cover. Although that can be adorable and helpful for visualising characters, it did bring about some representation issues, because reading the book there wasn't many explicitly described characters, so you could have imagined them as basically any race that you wanted to. But these little character designs in the front of the book drew every single character in the book as being white, and so any possible room for having a POC character was taken away by these little cartoons in the front of the book. And although they were cute and they did give me an idea of who the characters were meant to be as I was reading it, I would have liked to have more creative license in my own imagination as to what these characters were like. I know that I don't have exactly the most authority to speak on this topic because I'm white, but I know that a lot of POC people reading this book would be disappointed that they weren't able to imagine people who could end up being their favourite characters as being the same race as them. Other than that, I thought it was an absolutely great book, and I really recommend that you should read it, just keep those things in mind. However, there was a positive representation in this book, in that Catherine Wren's father, Art, has bipolar disorder, and it's very well represented in this book, it's not demonised at all, and it's very cleverly and carefully dealt with throughout the book, which I was a big fan of. Mental illness is something that's often treated poorly in fiction, but this was very well dealt with, and I'd like to congratulate Rainbow Rowell on doing a good job at representing bipolar disorder in a book that young people are going to read and hopefully learn from. So yeah, that's my opinion on Fangirl by Rome Burrell. If you think I should do more booktube style videos, then please let me know because I do enjoy it and hopefully it will motivate me to read more because I love reading, I'm just very very slow. Thanks guys, see ya!